Welcome back to the show. Well, welcome, Jenny. Welcome. Okay, so now you are featured in the Knowledge Shop catalog, and there's this great information here. It's called, you're doing a seminar. It's called Improve Your Voice. Improve your voice, improve your image. So, do you think that a single person, if they improve their voice, that they can improve their image? Definitely, because people don't really have a very good assessment of how their voice comes across in terms of a first impression and a lasting impression. Right. Uh, for example, if you meet somebody and they, they've looked in the mirror and they've worked on their physical image and they know how to package themselves, but then they have a voice that's like this that isn't <laughs> as attractive as they are. Uh, so sometimes they don't have a voice that matches their look, that they're not, not right. as attractive. Right. It can, it can, a, a voice can attract or it can distract. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Especially mm -hmm. in terms of pitch level. Just by changing my pitch level just a little bit, my image changes. That or if I, right. if I bring it down like that kind of a thing, it changes the image again. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and clarity, of course. You know, if your diction is kind of sloppy like that, then it says something about <laughs> your intelligence right. level, that yeah, kind right. of thing. Yeah. Or, or I also work with the physical, nonverbal communication as well, yeah. because if you start moving your head around a lot like that kind of thing, you don't realize that you're doing it, but then you can seem kind of airhead just because you're doing that sort of thing. True, you know? true. Or if you're stiff, then you might be, you might look afraid or you might look intimidated. Hi, how are you? Yeah, um, I'd love to meet you. So I teach people how to shake hands, how to make a greeting. Sure. Yes, eye contact, sure. face, how much facial expression to use. Sure. Yeah. Just to come across comfortable in your own skin and that you like your voice. Because a lot of people don't even like their voice and they don't realize that they can change it. Right, right. I have a quick question. You know those <laughs> ladies that, uh, Michelle, that, that speak very softly? Yeah. And they talking to you, and you can barely hear what yeah. they're saying. Why do they do that, and is that recommended? Wow. Well, a lot of a lot of our authority is measured by mm -hmm. volume level, right. and so if I soften my voice like this, it might be a cultural thing because there are a lot of, especially Spanish cultures, mm -hmm. that to be soft spoken, or Asian cultures to be soft spoken, mm -hmm. in their culture is considered well bred, but in mm -hmm. our cu culture. Speak to be very soft comes across right. wimpy. Yeah. So I ha I wor I work with uh, people in my accent reduction class I have at the Knowledge Shop sure. as well. Accent reduction and diction, not to sound everybody sound alike American, Correct. but to understand how they are perceived, mm -hmm. how their voice is perceived, sure. if they have an accent. And a lot of what I do in the accent reduction diction class is just getting them to open up, okay. to just open up. Okay. Right. But there's a lot of perceptions that go along with the voice that people don't realize because you're registering it subconsciously. Well, now they say that when there's face-to-face -face confrontation of someone that 80% of the words are never heard. It's, yeah. it's, all, it's only 20% mm -hmm. of words that are heard and it's all body language. Mm -hmm. And I see this all the time that singles, when they go to singles dances, mm -hmm all the time right. when you have a man who's interested in say a woman that he wants to dance with and he might walk up to her and he might be so shy that he he doesn't bring project like the powerful businessman that right. he really is and then she feels like well he seems kind of strange or he doesn't seem like he'd be much fun mm -hmm. or anything and she'll go well no you know but then he walks off and goes and talks to his friends mm -hmm. and he's just the life of the party mm -hmm. so and I think that you know improving your voice does improve your image. I mean, imagine if like the President of the United States had this really quiet, tame voice. It, uh, I don't think it would project that he's this powerful man who can make Absolutely. decisions. And right. lawyers, doctors, sure. just sure. Uh, depending on the authority that you need, just getting people to do what you tell them to do or to ask a question, even just a greeting. For example, if I just talk, it, if I just say, hi, how are you? then that doesn't sound like I'm very eager to meet right. you. Correct. But if, right. I, if I just bring it up just a little bit, hi, how are you? Right. It's not intimidating. But if I go, hi, how are you? <laughs> then it's like, ugh. Sounds <laughs> fake, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, uh -huh. it's like, ugh. But yeah. that, in terms of that 80% you were talking about, that also includes tone of voice. Right. Because I could be saying, blah, 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 even though there's no text of what right. I'm saying. Right. Nasality will kind of say, 
something definite or too high of a pitch or too airy or something. That would put people to sleep. Yeah, and a one of the main problems is people fading out. Yeah. That's a main problem. So say, mm -hmm. hi, my name's Jenny and I'm a vocal trainer. I'm really into surfing and, bo and body surfing. Uh, I uh, teach at the University of Central Florida, and they go down, and so it's kind of like, oh, big deal, I'm mm -hmm. no big deal, mm -hmm. instead of really having the confidence mm -hmm. to splash it out and to right. say who you are. True. So a lot of people just are nervous about who they are, and they don't realize that they can improve mm -hmm. body language and voice. I work Self with Self-esteem plays a big role in that. Huge amount yeah. of just feeling like it's all right yeah. to say it, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, your voice also, uh, for people who are in relationships, couples, whether they're married, now, using your voice to get your point across to mm -hmm. your spouse without hurting their feelings mm -hmm. is very important. Yeah. So, say if your husband consistently leaves his clothes on the floor, <laughs> instead of going, you know, you, you know, really, you never really need to pick those up we on the floor. We never do that. Okay, just for <laughs> you know, the record. All right. In the, in the voice, if, if she was to say it very nicely, honey, could you right. please pick up your clothes? Maybe, you know, because it, it's kind of a lot of work for me to do. Mm -hmm. he, would, he would react much more yes. positively oh, yeah. because you're looking for reactions. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, what? just controlling your voice for any aspect, personal, one-on-one, right. -on -one, sure. small group, large group, being a leader, Public uh, speaking. Attra yeah. attracting people. I've worked with pe numerous people on just how to socialize one-on-one -on -one and how to attract a partner and sure. look comfortable, feel comfortable, and sure. release the voice. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be right back with more from Ginny Kopp, uh, who's doing a seminar at the Knowledge Shop. I feel like I'm talking better already. <laughs> I feel like I am. <laughs> if you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about an upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation.